Hi, this video is about fence garden gate design ideas and we also will try to cover the question that how to build the fence garden gate. A well maintained fence gate will add instant curb appeal to your property. Here's how to build a wooden fence gate to give guests a warm welcome. So if you are building a fence in your backyard, it's likely you will need to know how to build a fence gate too. Our step by step guide has all the information you need to design and build a wooden fence gate for. Of course there are alternative garden gate ideas and options to match if you are installing a vinyl fence or installing a chain link fence or opting for broad iron and other garden fence ideas in preference. A wooden fence gate should be matched to the timber of your wooden fence. Ideally, choose a hardwood such as Iroko or European oak as these are the most durable and long lasting as they are resistant to all weathers as well as insects and fungus. With so many different types of materials, you can have a setup that matches your home's exterior perfectly. With a wooden gate, you can op it for a more rustic look and really make it your own by painting the wood for a complementary complete look. Woods that work well are hardwood like Iroko, Sepal, European Oak and Cedar. This is because they are denser woods that have a tightened grain. The makeup of woods like this can also help fight off insect attacks and harsh UV rays, especially if they are well maintained with hordes of staining and painting. So here is a question, how to build a fence gate? This project should only take a day at the most and it can be done by confident DIYs and do's with basic carpentry skills. In most cases, gate posts should be around 6-10 mm taller than the height of the gate itself. If you want something heavier and more durable, then go for posts that are at least 760 mm taller. Before you start, trade the gate post with a wood preservative before fitting and setting into concrete with the fixtures such as brackets and bolts for galvanized metal versions as these won't rust in the rain and wind. Another tip is to cut the top of the gate post to a slant in order to allow rain water to drain off. Don't forget to stain the top of this slanted top with wood preservers too. Next, lay the gate down on the ground facing the direction you want it to open. To position it in line with the post, simply raise it using a couple of lengths of timber underneath. Adding extra of cuts as needed to get the height desired. The next task is to add the hinges. Put the hinges in the correct position on the back of the gate. Then drill the first pilot hole after marking the school locations. Drill the remaining pilot holes after driving in a screw to ensure the drill bit is not too large. After that, install the hinges with galvanized screws. Don't install them until the gate is hung. After drilling the latch screws, pilot holes, attach the latch by tightening the screws. When doing this, remember to leave a 5 mm space between the gate and the post. To ensure the structure is sound, brace the gate and post with three lengths of wood. Mark the locations of the post holes using the braced gate. If necessary, level the ground where the gate opens with the period level to see if this is sufficient. If the ground is soft, dig a 200 mm deep trench and 300 mm wide between the post holes, then fill it with concrete. This will lessen the likelihood that the gate weight will pull the post inward. Lower the gate post into the holes using a spirit level to make sure they are straight. Using wooden props to keep the gate and post in their position, mix the concrete and add to the ground around the post. Wait a few days for it to dry. Unless you are using a quick drying cement, then you can remove the spots to ensure the wooden gate is able to withstand all the elements and to improve the aesthetic. You can give it a treatment of sanding staining and painting. You don't want a gate to look like it's floating if it's too high but also if it's too low. It will look just like the rest of the fence. It should be easily identified for anyone wanting to open it. So aim for about 4 or 5 inches off the ground. 
द रूल ऑफ थम्प इज फॉर अ फेंस के टू स्विंग इन वर्ड्स टूवर्ड्स द हाउस ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी एंड नॉट आउट वर्ड्स towards the public space or sidewalk hinges should be at the top and bottom as well as in the middle for extra strength and durability so at the end of this video I want to request you to please don't forget to subscribe like and share the video have a nice day bye bye